Hey, what's up, man? This is Josh. Long time no see, man. I'm a uh, contacted you here because um, I saw um, you had, did the RSVP thing for the wedding shindig, and we appreciate it. And um, we appreciate you guys uh, playing. You know, it'll be a good time. So, uh, but I also um, wanted. I I then saw you know your uh, you know your name come through. I was like, man, I wonder how. We're charity flooring companies do it, you know. And uh, I, uh, what I do, like as a day job, is like I do marketing for different businesses, and um, I help to um, essentially kind of build websites, build lead generation, right? Figure out like what the kind of search volume is for the different, you know, areas that people work in. So, like for example, like I got a client that takes these jobs here. Um, this is Metro East Home Repair. I built this site, and it essentially is built to generate leads, right? And for anybody that needs, like, home repair work done, this number gets called, right? And um, we get about three jobs a day, um, Monday through Friday, um, for the site. And, you know, sometimes it comes through form submits, and then, um, you know, we've got Google reviews and all that fun stuff. And so, um put together, you know, a good portfolio of different things that, um, you know, we do for basement finishing and whatnot, right? We get jobs daily, you know, two or three jobs a day. So that's what I do, right? My team, I've got a team that will run ads and um, also um, do a lot of social media posting daily to be able to generate, um, you know, traffic and be able to generate work, right? Um, and so I did some research with you guys. And um, you've got this Facebook page, which is because you got a page. And um, you also have this Google business profile. You've got 10 reviews, which is good. Um, my team also works on generating reviews to build, you know, the the um, you know the amount of people that are, um, you know, see those reviews. It's good, right? Like we try to get like 25 to 30 reviews so that people um, who are strangers to you guys, which there's not a lot of people that are strangers to you guys. Um, we'll, we'll come to you. And so you don't have a site that's listed here that whenever I type for charity flooring, right, it doesn't come up, which is strange. And you also don't have a website link here, which is also strange. Like it's hard for people to find you, I guess. And so I did find on your Facebook page, you have this website here for charity flooring company for floorcovering.com. And, um, oh, this is just uh, Chamber of Commerce, right? They link, the Chamber of Commerce in Perryville, they link to your website here, business website. But when people click it, they don't, they get this username and password thing. And so I don't know if something is, like, if you guys have it set up that way, um, I mean, I can fix that stuff if you got hacked. Um, that's a big thing that happens, you know, believe it or not, is that, you know, companies get hacked and I have to go in and, essentially rebuild the site, right? And essentially put in like firewalls and all that stuff to keep hackers out, right? And I do all of that stuff, I'm an IT person. And so um, and the reason why I'm thinking maybe they're getting hacked is that like I went, I've got a tool that allows me to like analyze websites um, and figure out their traffic. And you don't have any traffic coming to your website here. And when I look at, um, you know, the different keywords that you're ranking for, it's all Chinese shit. I'm assuming Chinese shit, right? Like, what the heck is that? Um, why is it that the Chinese, you know, are like, you know, ranking your site? Like, I don't, I don't understand this. What's going on here? Um, maybe you know better, you know. And so, you know, feel free. Like, if you want to hop on a call, hop on a Zoom or whatever, you know, and kind of walk through some of this stuff. Maybe you know, you know, what's going on a lot better, but. When I see stuff like that, like it tells me that somebody's been hacked, right? And somebody's, um, you know, in not the best shape there. And so ideally we would want to get you back to where you're pulling in traffic, right? If you're pulling in traffic, then you've got people coming to your site. You've got people calling you. You've got leads coming in, right? You may not need more work, but it's always best to turn away work, you know? And so, um, you know, have it come in and then turn it away. And so like an example of some things that I do is like flooring stores in St. Louis is a keyword and there's on average 300 search volume per month. 
um, I would try to go after that search volume um, in anything related to flooring. Like flooring St. Louis, right? St. Louis is a big area for flooring. Um, keywords here, just Perryville, Missouri. There's 6,700 people that search for Perryville, Missouri, right? It's a lot of people, 6,700 a month, right? And so um, City Tavern gets, you know, 10,000 um, searches, but City Tavern is a keyword that is probably a nationwide keyword. And so, um, you know, what county is Perryville, Missouri? And 60 people will look for that, right? Like, I do stuff like this. I do the research. I find out, you know, hey, like, how can we make more bang for your buck, right? Sherry Flooring, Perryville, Missouri says on average there's 10 people that are looking for you. The issue is, is that they can't find you. Because um, the website here is like, whenever I try to resolve this and I hit cancel, it goes, it gives a server error. Um, and that's not good. So, you know, if you, need, if you guys need help with this stuff, like this is what I do. I, I take broken sites and I put good sites on them and I secure them and um, we generate leads, man. Like, um, we generate leads and so just let me know so we can talk chat see if you know there's anything that me and my team can do to help you out and so it's uh it's good uh being able to get connected with you again and see you know how you're doing and so awesome let me know what you think and we'll go with that